Welcome to Spatry's Cup of Linux. In this episode, we are going to discuss desktop effects. Now, some of you may be wondering, why the hell do you have those ridiculous glasses on? Well, if you have a pair of red and blue glasses, put them on. My desktop is in 3D. That's right, I'm coming right out at you. And uh, there's all kinds of really cool effects that you can do with this. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, the the effects that you can get and so I'm gonna sit here and uh, cover them some of them with you and I'm also gonna give some pointers to some uh, to people who use the uh, natty 1104 distribution of Ubuntu or a derivative thereof uh, that's what I'm running right now you will need to purge uh, comp his and use a um, and use the classic shell in order to be able to get these effects because uh, the Unity interface does not support these uh, types of effects and that sort of thing. First, let me go ahead and disable this and take these ridiculous glasses off, and then we'll um, I'll first show you some of the things I like to use for desktop effects. Also, if you see the show notes uh, later, I'm gonna uh, or uh, later on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place a uh, link to where you can download uh, the profile that I'm using if you want to try it or tweak it or whatever you would like um, as your uh, comp is effects. Okay, uh, it, for instance, some of the things I like to, that I have this set up for is if I want to see my desktop, I just take the mouse cursor here and move it to the lower right portion of my screen, and it minimizes everything for me. If I move it back, everything comes back. Now, I, also, if I, uh, you can see my desktop's really cluttered and I have all these windows open. If I just want to see, uh, while all these windows are so I can easily select it. I have mine set up to where if I move the cursor to the upper right of the screen it positions everything so that I can pick and choose which item I want and it'll come up. Another nice way that I can navigate is by doing a page flip. I have that set up for the lower left side of my screen and then I can easily navigate this way. And then of course I have uh, three desktops, so if I move to the upper left corner of my screen, I'm sure some one of some of my videos you've seen this, and uh, I can see all three of my desktops this way. Additionally, middle clicking my mouse button and moving the mouse will also navigate between the windows. Uh, you'll also notice I have some other cool little effects here, like uh, the the um, web browser here is uh, rolling up and down. That is an effect that is provided by the Emerald Window Manager. I'm using decorations on my windows and uh, and that just adds a little bit of extra uh, glitz, if you will. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and uh, explain that if you are using Natty and you have downgraded to the uh, 086 Compass, you may have noticed that the Compass Fusion button does not function. Well, I found this neat little utility online that corrects that issue, and that is called Displex, and it sits up here in your, uh, in your uh, notification area, and it gives you all the options and then some that the, uh, that the uh, Compass Fusion button offered. Now, all of this information is going to be in the show notes below, so you'll be able to get this, so don't worry about that. Let's go into the Compiz settings, and you'll see that I have uh, a number of different effects here that I can tweak. Now, uh, if you browse through this, you can see there are a number of options that you can enable and disable. Um, I'm starting to get tired of looking at the uh, little blue effect uh, that I've had going, so let's go ahead and change that. All right. Now, when a window uh, opens, I have that burn effect selected. Why don't I uh, try and change that to something else? By double-clicking, I can then try something different. Let's try the beam-up effect and see how that looks. That's kind of cool, but mm, just not feeling that one. How about a curved fold? 
Okay. I actually like that, and I've been using that as my close effect. So I'm actually going to use that one for a while. That's that's the nice thing about this, in that, you know these effects are highly customizable. I like the domino effect here for minimizing windows. Very nice effect. I don't know if I want to use that one. And let's see what the dream effect does. Huh, cute. I don't know. Magic Lamp is a very popular one. <laughs> Windows just can't do this sort of thing, you know? Um, so there's all kinds of neat little settings and stuff like that you can tweak. Um, it's, it's really fun. No Linux operating environment is complete without it. Um, so... Uh, uh, please check out my show notes. You'll see all the information uh, on there. Oh, and if you want to try the 3D effect, that is something that you will need to install separately. I also have uh, a uh, I'll also have a, a link to a Matt Bless's um, blog where you can get that information. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions on installing that. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.